In the past, sexual harassment in the sciences has primarily been dealt with quietly in a culture of silence um, where we don't necessarily have the transparency. The 2018 National Academy of Sciences report had several key findings that over 60% of women in sciences have experienced some forms of sexual harassment. Another key finding is that sex, uh, harassment in science is not so much about a come on, like a, a, an encounter, it's more about a put down. How do you put people in their place? Another key finding is that this is driving people from our field, and so we really have to address it. There's so many ways that sexual harassment can have a negative impact on individuals and environments. Individuals tend to withdraw, maybe not participate as much in the professional settings. Individuals have a huge tax, whether they understand it or not at the time, on their health and well-being. And this actually does permeate not just to the individual who's involved, the targets as, as we often call them, but also to bystanders in the environment. Professional societies can play a big role in addressing harassment in sciences. Academic institutions have their own constraints, but societies have leeway to help address the culture they want for their total environment. So for example, in, in my organization, we have put in place requirements for understanding past behavior of anybody who's a candidate for an award or a governance position in our society. We disclose to our membership annually the number of incidents that we had that have been reported and the disposition of those incidents. So it's transparency, so people will know that things are actually happening. So societies, we believe, can help set the standards for what's expected in the fields. I think the attention given by, like the report, for example, has really given people an opportunity to find their voice. Women have collectively found their voice, but not just the women, but also the allies. So now that there's more attention being paid, it's easier for others to come forward. And this finding of the voice is only going to continue, this increased awareness. And one of the things that's really good about this increased awareness, it's going to lead to better accountability and it's going to lead to better cultures and environments in the future.